Currency Kings Mini FX Tutorial on Elliott Waves Elliott Waves The Basics In 1939, Ralph Nelson Elliott proposed that market prices unfold in specific patterns or waves, and that these waves are the result of collective investor psychology and reflect periods of optimism and pessimism in the market. Furthermore, the sequence of these patterns are apparent at every degree of a trend and time scale. Today, they are known as Elliott waves. In every sequence, there are eight waves, split into five waves that make up an impulsive phase, followed by three waves that make up a corrective phase. See below chart. In a market that trends higher, the impulsive phase is higher and the corrective phase is lower. In a market that trends lower, the impulsive phase is lower while the corrective phase is higher. A correct wave count must observe three rules. Wave 2 must never retrace more than 100% of wave 1. Wave 3 cannot be the shortest of the three impulse waves, namely waves 1, 3 and 5. And wave 4 must not retrace into the price territory of wave 1. The 5 and 3 pattern continues in sequence as part of larger wave structures. See below chart. In general, wave 3 and wave 5 of an impulsive phase tend to be of the longest duration and offer the best trading opportunities. Elliott waves exhibit characteristics found in Fibonacci numbers and are extensively used by technical traders. Traders who consider using this tool must be aware that markets do not always conform to theory and that it is much easier to explain a past pattern than to predict the future direction of the market. Choose your levels wisely, always trade with discipline and with risk controls in place. Good luck and good trading. This tutorial was brought to you by Ben Robson, author of Currency Kings, How Billionaire Traders Made Their Fortune Trading Forex and How You Can Too. Soon to be available in simplified Chinese and available at the following bookstores. If you wish to contact Ben, Email him at spectrexcommodities.com, follow him on Twitter at TradeFXSmart, and on his website www.fxworldwideonline.com.